Are your students struggling with improper fractions and mixed numbers? Let's handle that right now. To go from a mixed number into a fraction, what we do is we multiply the denominator by the whole number. So 3 times 4 is 12, and then we add that numerator. The answer is 3 and a quarters is the same as 13 over, and we keep the denominator the same, 13 fourths. And the reason this works, why we multiply and then add, is because 3 is, for 3 and a quarter, if I said I need 3 and a quarter cup flour, you know that this is going to be 3 whole cups, right? So this is 1 cup, 2 cups, 3 cups, great. Another way of writing this is 4 over 4, plus 4 over 4, plus 4 over 4. And we have that 3 times. So 3 <laughs> three is the whole number, 1, 2, 3. And they're divided each into quarters, and there's 3 of them. So 4 times 3 is 12. And then we simply add that last bit, because the last bit we only have 1 quarter. So this is 1 quarter. So this is 12 quarters here. That's what we got up here. And then added that last quarter to get 13. So we have 13 quarters, and that's how we get from a mixed number to an improper fraction. Improper fraction just means that the numerator is a larger number than the one in the bottom, the denominator. Let's try another one. I have 7 and 5 ninths. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is multiply these together. So 7 times 9 is 63, and then we're going to add to that number so I have 68. So 7 and 5 ninths is the same as 68 ninths. Let's do another one. Let's say I have 1 and 2 thirds. Okay, 3 times 1 is 3, and we're going to add the 2. So the numerator is going to be 5. Notice the denominator stays the same in both cases. That's because we're not changing the number of divisions. So 1 and 2 thirds looks like this. So both of them are divided into thirds. Okay. So this one is 3 over 3, which is the same as 1. This one is 2 thirds. Okay. So 3 thirds plus 2 thirds is 5 thirds. Okay. By the way, if you would like to learn more about doing fractions the easy way, I'm actually giving a whole class on it for free. Check the link in the description or the comments to register, or simply go to getmath.net slash fractions. Okay, let's continue. Five and three fifths. Five times five is 25 plus three is 28. So this becomes 28 and the denominator always stays the same. Okay, we don't change the number of divisions. Okay, good. Another way you can think about this is that we have 5 and 3 fifths. That's the same as saying 5 and 3 fifths. Okay, and then this 5 is the same as saying 5 times 1 plus 3 fifths. And then this 1 is, if I want the same denominator here, I can say 5 over 5, right? Because this is 1 plus 3 fifths, okay? And to multiply a number by a fraction, this is 5 over 1. So 5 times 5 is 25 over 5 plus 3 fifths. Is this starting to look familiar <laughs> up here? Yep, there are many ways of going about this problem. Okay, let's do one final one. Suppose I have 12 and 5 ninths. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is div uh, multiply 9 times 12. So we have 108. And then we're going to add this. 9 times 12 is 108. And then we're going to add 5. So it's 113. So 12 and 5 ninths is the same as saying 113 ninths. 
If you enjoyed this lesson and you'd like more, you want to get more comfortable with fractions and all the operations that you can do with them, I encourage you to join me in a free class on math, specifically on fractions. You can register for free at getmath.net slash fractions. I'll put the link in both the description as well as put the link in the comments.